Here we are at Blade Show 2024 in Atlanta, Georgia. We're at the booth of Ray Kirk Knives. He has been featured in Forge and Fire, Season 1, Episode 8, Season 4, and Episode 5. Now, uh, Ray, tell us, about, uh, tell us about your knife company. Uh, I started making knives in 1989. It was uh, a year of financial difficulties, and I figured I'd just make knives for families and friends, you know, how hard can that be, you know? And I found out, but uh, the family and friends did get knives for Christmas, and I developed uh, an interest in making knives and enjoyed it. Uh, the first knives I made were real simple, and uh, a good friend of mine, his son come by the where I was teaching and said, hey, Raker, you know, Ray Kirk, Ray Kirk. And I said, that sounds good. So I just took that to be my knife name. Uh, the years went by and I had a friend, Troy Brown, that says, let's go to a shop tour. And I said, what's that? And he said, that's where a bunch of guys get together at somebody's house. I said, okay. And then later on, he says, let's go to a hammer in. I said, what's a hammer in? He said, that's where they have a weekend of classes and stuff. I said, yes. So my first hammer in was a Batson Bladesmith Symposium. And uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, meet lots of friends that have similar interests. Uh, the more people I met, the more I learned, and uh, and I'm still learning. Uh, you you can't help it. Uh, you don't have time to learn everything, so a lot of stuff that you learn will be from a friend or someone comes by to visit, and you're just talking, and they say something, and then you go, I never thought of that, and there you are. You figured out another way to do stuff. It's, uh, my style of knives is called a head and tang integral. It's made from round bar. <clears throat> uh, I use 52100, which is a ball bearing steel. Uh, it's known for its small grain size. And early on, I knew that small grain size meant extra edge holding power. So I went with 52100. And uh, there was uh, some guys from South America came up to one of the hammer ends with this style of knife. And I said, that's what I want. That's simple, easy. You have any kind of blade you want. You can have any kind of handle you want. Because you put your blade on, you put the handle on, and whatever you want. Uh, you can design it for slicing, dicing, skinning, or sticking. You know, uh, I try to stay away from the sticking knives, but uh, but they do sell. This is uh, this is my board, picture board, you might say. Of basically, first step, second step, do both ends like this, and then knock one end down, and then cut it in half and draw this out on each side and then shape this, grind it up on a grinder, square it up, shape it, heat treat it, stick it in a piece of wood, glue it, grind it, every how you like it. It's uh, one simple step at a time. Knives that are tough, that are meant to be used, not just to be looked yes. at. Uh, sturdy leather sheaths with uh, belt clips on them. Um, and 
Knife handles of various materials. The what? Uh, knife handles out of various materials. Mostly boat art, which is Osage Orange. Yeah. Uh, it's the uh, third hardest wood in the world. Uh, it takes a nice hand finish. Uh, I usually scorch it a little bit to bring the grain out. Yeah. Dip it in uh, go Danish oil to make it a little bit more waterproof. And uh, that's it. Uh, simple, easy to take care of. And now I'm going to grab your card. Thank you. Now this is Raker Knives. You can get a hold of him at 918-207-8076 uh, or www.rakerknives.com. And there is his uh, email address. Do you use Instagram at all? Do you use Instagram at all? Not really. Not really? Okay. Uh, so, um, I've, been there, I've been on there looking at other people's stuff. But. Uh, not, Instagram's not for everybody. I, I know I'm hit and miss on it myself. Yeah. So, uh, thank you. I might, be, I might be Ray Kirk 5 on, on Instagram. We will give it a look. All right. uh, thank you so much for uh, sharing your husband with us today. Uh, we know that uh, much like uh, my missus, uh, it takes two to get this job done. Thank you so much and have a nice day.